Hello, it's Matt Stone Cash for Plastics Technology, and I'm here in Condorsville, Indiana for a very special day. We're about to tour Nova's Mechanical Recycling Facility. Uh, this is a special facility because one, it's a big one, and two, they're recycling film. So we're gonna see a large scale post-consumer film recycling. So let's take a look. So Nova Chemicals is primarily a petrochemical company, so they needed to partner with a company that was more experienced in mechanical recycling, and they found Novalex. Novalex is a pa packaging brand that has a lot of experience running uh, mechanical film recycling facilities. Um, together, they've taken over about a third of an enormous uh, former Ford plant in Connersville, Indiana, and they've turned it into a kind of a state-of-the-art film recycling facility. The objective is to make recycled linear low density polyethylene film uh, that is good enough to be marketed under Nova's Syndigo brand. And this includes even food packaging. That characteristic of us producing and being a packaging manufacturer, as you said, you know, allows us then in-house to you know, really uh, perfect our process. And then that's why we brought it here. And that's why Nova and Novalex have partnered from that aspect of the, you know, have this facility. Novalex is not buying linear low grocery bags. It's, it's not the end of the line of retail consumer that's providing this film. But there's other films that are within the supply chain that are relatively clean and uniform, monolayer films uh, that can be used to recycle into this product. So the Connorville plant takes this relatively uniform and clean stream uh, they separate it out, they sort it, shred it, wash it, dry it, extrude it, and pelletize it to make new uh, Syndico recycled pellets. The line that Novalex is running is largely automated. The bales of plastic film are placed onto a conveyor. That conveyor leads into an automatic bale opener that cuts the wires, um, takes takes the film out of the bale onto the conveyor. That then proceeds to the first shredding cycle. First shredding cycle takes the film down to about um, a foot square. And then those go into a vibratory table. The vibratory table separates everything out uh, on, the, on the conveying system so that the sorting systems have line of sight to each individual piece. And the optical and IR systems in the sorting system identify things like colored plastics, paper, that's maybe polypropylene, um, and it sits those into a separate conveyor that will go back into further sorting, and even though that's rejected material, it will still be sorted again to identify plastics that can be used and sold into different applications. The selected fraction, the really good, clean, clear polyethylene, goes on to further a shredding step and then it's washed, it's dried, and then it goes on to densification. You know, the densifying process um, is there because plastic film can't be fed directly into an extruder. Um, it needs to be compacted. This film is compacted and then goes into the extruder, it's melted, um, it's filtered, and it's turned into pellets. Finally, after we have these nice clean pellets, those go into the refresher vessels. This is the longest step in the process. Um, this takes about eight hours for the refresher vessels to remove the volatile chemicals in the pellets um, that could cause odors if they were left in there. Um, finally, uh, these pellets are complete. They go into uh, silos that are blended and they're ready for shipment. The, the plant is able to process film now, um, but it's not yet fully operational, the plant is still being commissioned, there's equipment still to be installed. The plant is expected to be fully operational in 2026, and the capacity is somewhere between 100 and 120 million pounds per year of, of new recycled pellets that it'll be producing. For more on this Nova Chemicals facility and other plastics processing wins, visit ptonline.com.